Good morning, it's the ninth day of vlogist. I'm just getting ready to go to church. I'm also really tired. I'm really looking forward to a day where I'm not working at night so that I can be home and have my vlog edited at a reasonable time and go to bed at a reasonable time. Not that you can actually catch up on sleep. I've, I've, I remember hearing that somewhere. Oh well, time for church. So, home from church, ready for work, just got to have some lunch and make my dinner. So, yeah. But uh, I had some very interesting conversation with my friend Alan, who's a retired minister, after the service. And uh, we talked about geography and identity and all sorts of stuff. It's really interesting. We're on my way to work. had an interesting thought while I was at church today, which was that if you take the point of proper movement as being the base of the finger and the thumb, then your thumb is actually longer than any of your other fingers. Check it. Find out. See? Your, your base of movement there is there, rather than up there. Here's another interesting thought. I'm a bit of a strangely contradictory person in a way. If you think about the classical elements, fire, earth, air, and water, I tend to associate more with fire. Gryffindor is the one that's associated with fire, out of the Griff uh, Hogwarts houses, but there's loads of them like that. And I tend to I tend to associate myself with the fire. But weirdly enough, I've got this thing that I feel a really strong connection to the sea and the coast and being near the water. Which is a bit weird for a fire person to be based around. I associate with fire but also have strong connection to water. I don't think I could live somewhere that's not on the coast or at the least very near the coast. Really, it's interesting seeing things mixed up with the classical elements because they're they're very archetypal. Time for me to go into work. Yay! I'm on my break at work and I'm reading Carrie Hope Fletcher's book. Don't you think that The Birds and the Beast sounds like the name of a pub? Although perhaps one that no one would ever drink in. It'd be the perfect place for stag and hen do's. Anyway, I have no idea why we call it that. Birds don't get it on with bees, do they? Uh, Carrie. You know what? I never really use my tripod when I'm filming these vlogs, unless I'm using it for a different video, so I'm going to use it a bit. I've got about 200 more pages of Carrie Hope Fletcher's book. Probably not going to get that finished today. Maybe tomorrow or the next day, depending on how much time I get to read. I'm just going to try and blitz it as much as I can, so I can move on to my other books that I've got to read. Got to is a bit of a strong word. Want to read. It's more the word I'm <laughs> to use. So I've recently learned about two apps called Dub Smash and Periscope. They don't get used together, they are separate and completely unrelated. But Dub Smash seems to be really interesting in that you are using your uh your your face to dub over the audio the audio of something. So like there's quotes from Game of Thrones and various other things. Um, there's memes on there and everything. So there's that, and I'm thinking I might do some stuff with that a bit. But I'm also thinking that Periscope, which seems to be a sort of live broadcast thing, might be an interesting thing to experiment with a bit as well. But uh, I don't know if there would be an audience for me doing something on Periscope at all, to be honest. <laughs> um, I honestly, I honestly, I, I, like, I don't know what I would do on Periscope, but be interested. Tell me in the comments below if you'd be interested in seeing me on Periscope, and if, uh, what, if I did go on Periscope, what sort of content you would like to see. Whether it's just me talking, or me showing something, or doing something. I've decided to make a note of all the videos I'm going to make in my Gryffindor notebook because 
I have the space to do it and uh, I have a lot of videos like I've got a list of some in my um, like I've got a list of some on my whiteboard at home but um, that's not a complete list by any means I'm getting home and if it weren't for the fact that I had to do the cleaning stuff I would have been home on time Boiling all day. Jeez, oh. Not literally boiling. Otherwise, my skin would be a lot more red, I suspect. Come on with me now. I'm gonna take you down. Almost home. Almost home. At a reasonable time. Face has stolen the parking space again. By that I mean my sister. I've been thinking a lot about Arrested Development today. Apparently there's a fifth season been confirmed, so woohoo! Really like that show. It's one of those shows that when you read about it, it doesn't seem much like it's a sort of thing that would happen in that show. And then when you watch it, oh, that does make sense as a thing that would happen in this show. And by that I'm meaning the fourth season, because I think I read some stuff about it and then watched it and then I was like, oh, that makes a lot more sense than just the way it was being shown when read about. I'm home from work and it's still light. What? Editing video time and going to bed time. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you remember to like and share it and subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbnails above to see other videos by me, including the rest of my vloggers playlist and the book review of The Fire Sermon by Francesca Haig that I did. Bye!